The Design by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish February to my mind by old Cronus was designed as a sort of time in which mortals very far from rich might observe the truth that though all is murk and slush below all is bleak and cold and mean still the heavens are serene and the sun shines just as clear as when summer's days are here giving light and promise of life's abundant stores of love end of poem this recording is in the public domain possessions by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. thou hast no art the glowing pictures of the land and sea in all their beauty rich belong to thee thou hast no song the madrigals of singing birds divine if thou hast ears to hear are wholly thine thou hast no lands thou hast thy space and truly in the end midas himself shall have no more my friend thou hast no wealth the sun by day and all the stars that shine the living light and love of god are thine end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Hint by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish A chap I knew once waited for A ship that never reached the shore And fame and fortune failed to win Because his ship did not come in But there was also one I knew Who had a ship he waited too and when she failed to come why he jumped overboard and swam the sea he swam and swam and swam away he swam by night he swam by day until he reached the port wherein lay all the things he sought to win and instead of one had several ships engaged in making many trips to land upon his native shore what others lost by waiting for end of poem this recording is in the public domain the plan by john kendrick bangs read for librivox.org by tavarish changeable the days may be but what's that to you and me thirsting for variety little touch of spring to-day hinting of the coming may then a snap of winter gray now it's hot and now it's cold sullen skies and skies of gold timid zephyrs breezes bold hold your plaint o oh mr man can't you see tis nature's plan just to please us if she can end of poem this recording is in the public domain the sure sun by john kendrick bangs read for librivox.org by tavarish when days are dark i do not chide the sun with cavillings and carpings without end but blame the clouds as i should blame the one who tries to come between me and my friend i know the sun is there and shines as true as if no mists had risen to obscure and soon or late will burst upon my view sure as the love of my true friend is sure End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Wanted by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. 
twould please me much if I could see an accurate geography that showed the city of content and how to reach the continent of happy days through ports of cheer, the hills of joy uprising near whence streams of human love run down to meet the sea at friendly town, where all men live in peace together, regardless of the style of weather. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Exchanges by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. For today, let's swap our cares. I'll take yours, and you take mine. I, your pitfalls, you, my snares. Let's all do it down the line. Pauper, take the rich man's woe. Serf, assume the monarch's crown. Magnate, on the highway go, meek and lowly, trodden down. Not much gained? Well, maybe not. But it somehow seems to me, on all sides, we'd find a lot of good healthy sympathy. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To February by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. You may be full of mush and slush, oblique old February. And poets seldom o'er you gush, your moods so often vary. Yet matters not how you behave, I love you, for I'm thinking we all should bless the month that gave us Washington and Lincoln. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Heart of Youth by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish I little care how folks may laugh And cover me with sneering chaff Because in these my latter days I fondly cling to childish ways Since he who keeps childhood in view And to its purity is true and holds the high faith of a boy in things of laughter and of joy can ne'er grow old and finds no fears of age in his increase of years end of poem this recording is in the public domain my work by john kendrick bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. My work is not mine enemy that I must fight and put to rout, but rather friend in whom I see a comrade true to help me out. I meet it therefore as I would a cherished brother, and I try to prove it excellently good, and greeted with a smiling eye, and since I've made my task my pard, I've never really found it hard. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Profit Sharing by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. If so it be, life has been good to thee, and has filled up with golden joy thy cup, let others share that teeming content there, and thus thy store will be increased the more. Thy joys divide, and find them multiplied. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Lincoln by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. The good clean strength of one whose soul Held all the gold of self-control Amid the clash of fiery stress, Yet all devoid of selfishness. A mind of high resolve and clear, 
that held no flaw or dross of fear when purpose true impelled the deed to serve his fellow man in need a heart of loving cheer and grace that nothing held of mean or base and open as the heavens free to all who suffered misery time hath no measure yet i dare upon this day we hold so fair to measure it by lincoln's fame as being deathless as his name end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Lonely Heights by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. They say that at the top there's lots and lots and lots of room, not villa sites, but palace plots with laurels all abloom. But somehow, as I peer above to where those spaces be, for all their wondrous treasure trove, they don't appeal to me. They seem so lonely and so drear, no crowds to come and go, and I prefer the bustling cheer of company below. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Protest by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. A nasty day, a nasty day, t'was thus I heard a critic say, because the skies were bleak and grey, and yet it somehow seemed to me the day was all that it should be. I looked it very closely o'er, its hours still were twenty-four, with sixty minutes each, no less, for deeds of good and helpfulness and every second full of chance to give the day significance and every hour full of growth for everybody but the sloth i couldn't see it quite that way for though the skies were bleak and gray the day itself it seemed to me was all a day could rightly be end of poem this recording is in the public domain Transformation by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I like the man who takes the stones upon his rocky road with smiling lips instead of groans, whate'er his heavy load, who seizes each as on he goes and neatly crumbles it and turns his share of pebbly woes to stores of inner grit. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Appreciation by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. It may be true that beggars lie, but so perhaps would you and I, if we were vexed with want, as they who wander on their hopeless way. At any rate, or false and true, I never look their stories through, but pay them for the tale they tell, and if forsooth they do it well, throw in an extra bit to show that, if it be romance or no, a moving tale I ever hold worth its reward, if fitly told. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Mr. Joy by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Now Joy, he is the strangest thing that ever I did see. He turns his back on prince and king to dwell with you and me. To palaces he seldom goes where pomp and power strut, yet often stops to warm his toes in some poor peasant's hut. For gilded halls he doesn't care, and rich foods leave him flat. But on the humblest sort of fare he blooms 
and wax is fat. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. An Absurdity by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. The world's a school that teaches us full many a lesson glorious. It teaches love and how to bear the burden of oppressive care, how to forget, how to forgive. In short, it teaches how to live. Yet there be those who tell us that tis all for nothing, stale and flat that having learned to live we press from being into nothingness and out of all our stress have won the blessing of oblivion as if the grandeur of our days and all the wonder of our bays and all the splendid things that man has built up since the world began were just a bit of idle chaff to make some duller devil laugh End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Unfathomable by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I can't explain the mysteries that bring fruition to the trees, but well I know their fruit is fair, and seek the golden bounty there. I do not comprehend the hills that shield me from the arctic ills but when the blasts of winter press i seek their sheltering friendliness so with my god the mind of me cannot unfold infinity yet i can seize upon the good of his immortal fatherhood end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Ladder and the Light by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Hope, smiling cheer, and love and will, four things upon my ladder are, on which, in face of every ill, I wend my way up to my star. Each firmly fixed holds me secure, as to the gleaming heights I rise and make my daily progress sure with faith the light before my eyes and the poem this recording is in the public domain garnered sweets by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by tavarish as bees their honey store so shall i store to-day until the hive runs o'er the sweets that come my way that i and friends of mine in days of gloomy weather may sit us down and dine upon their joys together end of poem this recording is in the public domain washington by john kendrick bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Mid all the glory great of war, and power vast as that of kings, he never lost his passion for the world of peace and simple things. Surrounded by vast selfishness, with high ambitions face to face, unselfish ever did he press on to the freedom of his race. The wreath he sought was but the bay of service and full duty done the diadem that crowned the day of loyal-hearted washington end of poem this recording is in the public domain an explanation by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish you need not think it's vanity that makes me prink and take much care to keep myself both fit and fair tis not false pride or vain conceit that keeps me trying to be neat but just the plain and simple truth that i have held to since my youth 
that this old frame in which i dwell is nothing more than the hotel in which my soul and hopes must stay until i'm called to move away and for their dwelling place i plan to give them quite the best i can and keep the place up spick and span and of poem this recording is in the public domain A New Beginning by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. What if yesterday holds mistakes, a record full of qualms and quakes? Today hath come a page pure white, whereon your errors you may write. It lies before you clean and fair, with smiling invitation there to start anew and smooth away the sad mischance of yesterday end of poem this recording is in the public domain a goodly gift by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish were i to pray for some rare gift to help me through life's varied shift twould be the gift at once to say what things may cheer my brother's way and hold myself completely dumb when sneers and biting phrases come to visit on my friend's distress just to display my cleverness and of poem this recording is in the public domain the self-made man by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish he said he was a self-made man and yet i fear he stole the plan for truly far as i could see he differed not from you and me who've come to be as much as he the things we are for weal or woe for good or ill or high or low by keeping ever in our view the things the ages point us to and getting help from every one in every blessed thing we've done and not afraid a little bit to gratefully acknowledge it end of poem this recording is in the public domain don't worry by john kendrick bangs read for librivox.org by tavarish don't worry friend because you are not great the roads more human in the vales below more laughter song more hearts with joy elate more freedom in life's ceaseless ebb and flow keep plodding on with smiling lip and eye nor vex your soul because you may not mount and o'er your smallness neither weep nor sigh for after all it's little things that count end of poem this recording is in the public domain the edifice by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish in building up your soul the plan prepare with watchful foresight and with proper care that it may stand the storm and stress of life and hold you safe from evil and its strife make love the cornerstone and that good cheer may hold you free from worry and from fear immune to all the terrors of the night keep every window open to the light end of poem this recording is in the public domain the day by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish an extra day from time's full purse to use for better or for worse a meed of minutes gift of light a pause perhaps in time's swift flight wherein we may redeem the cost of wasted hours we have lost and of poem this recording is in the public domain End of The Cheery Way, A Bit of Verse for Every Day, February, by John Kendrick Bangs.